What can I do for you? You seem a little uncomfortable. I can't hide much from you, can I? <laughs> the Dunmer faith isn't well understood in Skyrim, and the people tend to have certain expectations of me since I'm a Nord. Do you follow any of the divines? Uh... <laughs> Tabella, naturally. Really? Now you got me curious. I told you I could flirt. Uh... Given recent events, I've felt drawn to Talos. Can't say I ever understood going to war over a dead guy. But he certainly was a great man. Maybe divinity is just a legacy we leave behind. Akatosh, because Dragonborn. Some of the older Myrrh back in Cyrodiil used to talk about the day the Avatar of Akatosh took shape over the Temple of the One. It's hard to imagine that kind of sacrifice. Because, yeah, I can say not the Aedra, I'm not religious. I almost wish there was another option that says that's all the Aedra. Or even just if there was an option that just flat out said the nine divines, the eight divines. Zenithar wasn't planning on adventuring forever, you know. The god of commerce is probably not my biggest fan. I'll make exceptions for your trading ships, of course. Oh. Let's talk of something else, I guess. As you wish. Oh, okay. Yeah, so let's talk of something else is what concludes that, weirdly enough. I'm with you. That... I wouldn't have expected. I, I would have preferred a... Like, a, a more definitive, like, oh, that's all the divines that I worship, or something to that extent. I think that might have been a little bit more clear. I would kill for a coffee. You just mentioned coffee. Which... Coffee is canon. There is coffee in the Elder Scrolls universe. If anything, Skyrim is just lacking. Not that the Elder Scrolls isn't Six. I uh, want to see coffee. I'm more of a sunset kind of guy. Elder Scrolls Six. Let's have coffee. Is all I'm saying. Now, uh, let's let's just go up to the Meridia statue. Let's just stand in front of her. No, 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 no. Listen. Hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. But first, you must restore to me my beacon. Yeah. I, uh... I shall guide you unto it. No. Find it and return here. And great shall be your reward. So I had never, ever, ever come to, um, <laughs> to Meridia's temple without the beacon in my possession, so I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know that was going to happen. Oh, and it scared me a little bit. Hey, just uh, come up here. Just, uh, just stand next to me. I ignore the yelling statue. You don't want to talk to her either, do you? Good morning. So, uh, you mentioned the Dunmer faith before? Azora, Boethia, and Mafala I know well. My father worships in the New Temple faith and raised me the same. So you're a Daedra worshipper? Aedra and Daedra are two sides of the same coin. I was taught to view them with respect, not fear or reverence. The Daedra aren't good or evil. They are the way they are, because they're us. Or we're them. Manifestations of the moral psyche, maybe. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You could be anything you want, you know, even a scholar. I thought you dropped out of school. Uh, formal school, sure. There's a lot of downtime on a ship, and plenty of places to store books. Oh. Okay, so now it's saying that if I want to continue this, I have to resolve uh, the mutiny on the Dark Wars. That's really cool. Okay. That... This is handled very, very well. I think this quest... The way it's structured, the way it's paced, very well done. Takes into account, um, you know, where we are in the rest of his quest line. So, I'm glad I did this first. I'm glad I did this before confronting him, or confronting his father about him. Well, Val, I don't see... I don't see a ship. But I see people. 
Let's, uh, let's see what they have to say, but right now... Oh. Never mind, I now see the ship. It was hiding, it was hiding behind the rock. What can I say? Is that your dad right there? I think that's your dad right there. I like that you're all, uh, color-coordinated. You're like a team. I see you're not dead yet. Well done. Sending assassins was just rude. I thought you were retired. I like your hair. You're down crazy, <laughs> you're down right. How else is an old man supposed to see his son, eh? <laughs> Having me thrown in prison and taking my ship is your idea of a family reunion? You had a good run, boy. But the Dark Rose will always be mine. Black Pearl, you mean? I took her from you once, I could take her again. And you won't have my treacherous first mate in your pocket either. What did you promise him? Oh, Fafis always hated you. For years, the captain's son standing in his way. He imagined I went easy on you. <laughs> but you were the smart one, and better at this life until you went soft. Good thing you took care of him, though. Wasn't sure you still had it in you. Can't trust a man who'll betray his best friend. It was only a matter of time before he'd have betrayed me as well. I did you a favor. A favor? You left me to die. It's time for me to return your favor. I. Then I'll <laughs> see you in oblivion. Nice meeting you, by the way. Tell them who sent you. Okay. Never oh, okay. Come that come was here. fast. Oh, wow. And immediately. They aggro to me. No introduction. <laughs> no introduction at all. Just immediately. Um, yeah. Mad at me. And all of them are named too. Wow. They're all named and we're just gonna kill them all. And okay. Yep. Like this is more so just a vanilla Skyrim thing rather than the mod, but all of them being focused on me despite the fact that it's Val's story. Okay, okay. Oh, are we not killing them all? Are we not killing them? Are we just- Oh, no, no, we're killing them. We're just not killing his dad. Tell us no tale, you will not tell a tale, because you're dead. This is what I get for only having Foos. This is what I get for only taking Foos. Not today. So, uh, patricide? What do you say? Val, 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 stay here. Go aspire to mediocrity somewhere else. Val, you gotta look at him. You gotta look at your dad. Come say hi. You said you never write. Oh, I certainly underestimate you. Where's he going? <laughs> I would say you underestimate your son. I'm not sure about that. I don't know where he's going. What nonsense has the boy been putting in your head, eh? This world destroys the weak. We're meant to be tested. I made him what he is. Val's made more of himself than you'll ever be. And yet he's bested you. Again. I don't know what's worse, your massive ego or that you actually believe yourself. I'll die of boredom from your attempts at wit before my wounds go. You're wrong about him. I knew I was sending Fafis to his death. Never forget that about your friend. Now, let's get this over with. I'm not like you, you're free to go. Get out of here before I change my mind. Or... kill him. It is weird that we're doing this without... Val. I'm not like you. As you wish. He just crawls out of here. Yes, I'm sure you'll go far. The sooner the better. I like the armors. I, I like that a lot of them had more unique armors. It was just kind of funny that we immediately killed all of them. You let him live. I did. He's still your father. Oh, and he's just back there complaining still. I've been trying to please him my whole damn life. I used to think if I could just show him I was good enough that he'd care. 
I lived for those moments when he would approve of me, when he would accept me. Pathetic. It's natural to want a parent's love. Yeah, well, he didn't really love me. He just liked that I made him look good. I was so angry. It was easier that way. Pathetic. Everything was supposed to be different once I became captain. Instead, it made me miserable. What do you mean? Wasn't it everything you'd always wanted? <laughs> yeah. I read too many stories as a kid. The reality is you can't be some kind of swashbuckling hero and run a crew of corsairs and cutthroats. I did a lot of things in those days I wouldn't do today. Things I regret. I'm done with it all. You could be anything you like. You're walking away? The Dark Rose will be alright. I'm not sure what's next for me, but it's not going to be on board that ship. Well, it has sticking with you no has crew. been the first good decision I made in a long time. I'm glad you're in my life. <laughs> there's, there's, there's no crew for the ship. It's just going to be there. Can can I go to it? Like, can I get aboard? I'm with you. I just I want to go to the ship real fast. Ooh, Ebony. How very, uh, Dunmer of him. How very Dark Elf of him. Yeah, I don't see a ladder that would let me get up there. I think it's just for show. I will say, when I was told I was getting a pirate companion, when I was told this was a, a pirate follower in quest, uh, I thought that might mean... You know, we get a ship. We we still could. We we might get a ship later. We might even get the Dark Rose later. But right now, it's just there. Because we killed <gasps> all the named people. Everyone's just real, real dead. Except for your dad, who's just kind of sitting here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. And I just hear you yelling, ah, pathetic. But, sir, you're the one who looks pathetic right now. Go aspire to mediocrity somewhere else. Maybe I should have killed him. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should have killed him. Ship in a bottle, leather strips, firewood, glass, and linen wrap. Hi. Oh, you're not. Wanderer Val. like you must have. <laughs> I turned around thinking Val was gonna tell. be right behind me. Nope. But hey I'm afraid I'm too busy to hear. I uh, made you something. It's a gift. This is incredible. You made this for me because I left the Dark Rose? I did it because I was hoping that this could mean that we eventually go back to the Dark Rose. Your ship was your home. It was a big part of your life. I know she meant a lot to you. I I love it. This means more to me than words could possibly say. Thank you, my friend. I've got weapons oh. forgiven. Oh, look at that. Look at the hug. You know what? Let's go somewhere else before we talk about Fathus. Let's not talk about it with, uh, with Baron right there. Well, we'll sit down. We'll, uh, we'll go to a private room in the inn for that. Hi. A toast, Val. Let's celebrate our victories. Cheers to us. The toast again. Cheers to us, the unstoppable duo. And another toast. Oh, we're not. Uh, can I ask you something now that I got you all liquored up? Anything. About... Fathus. He had to pick that, huh? He was your friend. Was. I don't miss him, if that's what you were wondering. Tell me a good memory that you have of him. I know what you're trying to do. <sighs> Fine. Maybe it will help. There was one shore leave down in Hammerfell where we decided we were going to learn to pick pockets. We got pretty good in crowds working together. So, we got the bright idea to try our newfound skills on my father. <laughs> Obviously, Fathas and I spent the next three months on dog watch. You fought each other outside solitude. I just managed to escape from prison. He'd come there to kill me. I was unarmed and badly outnumbered. But I managed to stab him with his own sword before the mutineers with him took me down. They got cold feet and hauled me back unconscious to face Tarek instead of killing me outright. 
You know the rest. Did you mean for him to die? No. <sighs> yes. I was angry. I wanted revenge for his betrayal. But Fathis was my brother, too. I would have given him a healing potion or something. At least not let him die alone in a ditch on the side of the road. What happened afterward wasn't under your control. I'm the captain of a ship. Everything that happens on board is my responsibility. Not anymore. I was complacent, arrogant. I should have seen it coming years before. I held the sword. And his death is my fault. Beware, beware. He chose his own path. I tell myself that too. Maybe in time I'll believe it. Listen, you can't just hug people and hope that it solves everything. <laughs> then I scroll down and, oh, you know, I, I sure could use a hug. Me too. Oh, here we go. Bring it here, buddy. Old chum, old pal. Somehow you haven't caught on to the fact that I'm also, uh, flirting. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. <laughs> Where's he running to? Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Well, what do we have? What are we looking at? My dear Valerius, I received your letter and as always am relieved to know that you're alive and safe. My deepest condolences for the loss of your friend Fathis. Eh. Wasn't that great a friend. I know you two were once close, even if things had changed in recent years. As you no doubt remember, because I've told you many times, I am well aware of how you get your wealth, and I will not accept blood money. That part of my life is long past. Accordingly, I've donated the latest gold you sent to the orphanage. While at the temple, I prayed that Fathis find the peace in his afterlife that he never had while alive. I was stunned to receive a vision from Lady Mara herself. I'm not sure what it means, but your friend is not in any afterlife. Oh? Something must be very wrong, and I thought you were meant to know. Please do write more often, and perhaps come for a visit? It's been too long. With all of my love and affection, Mother. I'm gonna start calling him Valerius now. I'm gonna make fun of him for that. Hey, buddy, you're probably not going to be smiling for very long. I'm listening. Got a little work so, I think this letter's for you. This happens a lot. Uh, couriers give me other people's mail, and here I am, breaking the law by reading everyone else's mail before handing it over. It is. Thank you. I have some questions. I figured you would. Well, ask away. Do you think your mom really saw... You know, a vision of Lady Mara, or is she maybe a little... You know... I is she the kind of person that sees Talos' face on toast? Is kind of what I'm getting at. Your first name is Valerius? Valerius Serrano? Now I need to know your God, middle name. Where did you learn to yes, so and I well. hate it. Please, for the love of the Nine, do not call me that name. I... Used to be an imperial ring. Okay, Valerius. Wish I uh, had some of that why charm. are you like this? Oh. Not people. You know what I'm you thinking of? Um, and I mean this as I may have charmed like the greatest of compliments. Um, Val reminds me a little bit of Jaspar from Endroll. And I realize that it's largely just because they both fit into the kind of dashing rogue type characters, but. Uh, even the voice is ever so slightly familiar, but once again, one of the greatest compliments in modding, uh, and modding comparisons that I can give. I had no idea that you wrote to your mother. No, he he's a good son. Well, yeah, sure, I left home and didn't look back, but we aren't strained. Her name's Elin. She translates books for the various academics in the Imperial City. I'm close to my mother. I don't even know who my mother is. I'm still trying to imagine young Valerius, who ran away with the pirates sending letters home to mother. Ah, stow it already. <laughs> I'm never going to hear the end of this, am I? Oh, no, you won't, Valerius. And I love that. Oh, I love that my speech increased for that. That's such a nice little touch. Well, what are we going to do about that this. I mean, I don't necessarily care if he never makes it to an afterlife. I don't know if you necessarily care. 
How do you feel about dealing with Daedric Princes? Uh... What do you have in mind? We're dead in the water right now, but I know my mother's message is reliable. You saw Fathus die, only he's not dead. If there's a chance to save him for whatever fate's befallen him, I have to find out how. I let him down for years. I won't do it again. I've dealt with Hermaeus Mora before. Oh? While unpalatable, there's no better or faster source of information. I know where a black book is that can help us. I'll read it and bargain with all eyeballs if I have to. Oh, <laughs> eyeballs. So, one thing that I like, uh, and I mentioned it in the intro, but he does have full commentary for the Dragonborn DLC. And I'm... I'm liking now that I know that because he'll have a lot more to say on that because he's now showing that he's more familiar with Hermaeus Mora. Once again, ties into the whole Hermaeus Mora, Prince of the Tides, pirates, sailors, sometimes pray to him. But still, I just like all that tie-in right there. I originally found it in a cave on a god's forsaken island offshore from Solstheim. A story for another time. I left the book in my cabin with everything else on the Dark Rose. With luck... No one sold it or thrown it overboard yet. You never know, they might be stuck in Apocrypha somewhere. <laughs> Someone read it and it's like, oh, we're gonna go find them. Just hanging out in the uh, the endless rows of books. Uh, speak to Val aboard the Dark Rose. Which, the other thing to note hey. is that I would be able to start the conversation about his... Um, romance right now. I think that this is the conversation to start off his romance, but let's go save Fathis from eternal damnation. <laughs> that kind of takes a little bit of precedent. That seems like a little bit more of a, uh, a a timely matter. You know, this is very fitting weather for um, going aboard a pirate ship of your now... Well, he's not deceased, but you're now gone father and we're gonna go aboard and read a black book it's, it's very very fitting weather wait um where's the dark rose there's an old sailor saying if you don't like the weather just wait a minute did we put the dark rose somewhere else did we move the dark rose am i being a little stupid right now? Dark Rose Landing, yeah. Unless... Did we move... The Dark Rose to the Solitude Docks? I thought we just kind of left it here. Oh, wait a what second. What is it? I'm ready to go get your Black Book, because... I didn't necessarily think that I would have to have a conversation with him to go get it. It sounded like, hey, let's go to it right now. Good. Let's get to the Rose immediately. Oh, uh... My boy! I knew you'd be back! Uh, you could pipe down and sit in the hold for this trip, or you could disembark now. Which will it be? Ungrateful whelp! You won't sail with your own father! It'll be just like old times. How do we get here? I'm captain here because I'm the best man by a long sea mile. Now get off my ship. A nautical Care to do the mile? honors? You mean? I, I just want to give him the bums rush. I just want to, like, toss him off. I guess it would make sense that if we leave him alive, he's just going to take the ship, especially when you said you didn't want it yourself. Oh, did he hire new crew? There's something you need. He he did. All right. He wasted no time. Get off my damn ship. Huh. <laughs> I heard the man. Time to go. Let go of me, you... Well, off you go. <laughs> I had to give him the bums rush. I did, and I'm very, very happy about it. What's on your mind? Okay, so... I'm with you. Yeah, I almost wish maybe some of the sequencing there had been explained a little bit better. Uh, once again, maybe the Dark Rose would have We should have stop still... for a bit and take in the view. Maybe it still would have been in the lane spot had we killed his father. 
Um, <laughs> I just, I, I, I know it's the thing of it was intended for all this to happen off screen then, but did we, did we row out here? What did we do? What, what was this? Oh, what are you? I like you. You little stowaway you, whatever you are. Uh, that's empty. I'm just, I'm looking around. I'm just, um, you know, getting a feel for this ship. For, you just said it was your ship. I, I thought you didn't want it anymore. I'm getting some mixed signals here is all, Val. Sorry, not Val. Valerius. My cabin looks just as I left it. Maybe the old man really did? No. No, I know better. I'll just grab some clothes and a few of my things while we're here. I thought some of this stuff would be gone for good. Hey, look at that poster. They really uh, managed to capture your hair. All right, that's enough nostalgia. Let's read the book at the table. All right, all right. I I've never read one of these before. On this character, at least. Do you want to take it? Do you want me to read it? What's going on here? Fine, I'll read it. Oh, I should have taken those, uh, potions. <laughs> oh, because I see, uh, I see there's some potions behind him. Oh, I, I should have taken those before going into Apocrypha. Excuse me. Yeah, oh, excuse me. Yeah? I was hoping you would have something to say about this place, but you know what? I could use a hug. Come here. <laughs> I could use a hug. I need an emotional support hug. Uh, in this Daedric realm, in this realm of oblivion, this plane of oblivion. I... Well, I assume they're just going to splice together uh, Hermaeus Mora's lines. That would be my guess, at least. It, it's funny, because having Time not done um, the Dragonborn DLC on this character since this is a new save, I almost like this idea that of, care of that. I'm going to get to Soul's Time. I would get to Soul's Time. I'd go through the Black Books and I'd go, Ugh, these again? I've already done this. Been there, done that. This is no longer exciting to me. Nope. Hey there. I'll see you in oblivion. Well, <laughs> we are seeing him in oblivion. I got news for you, Val. I got bad news. We're already there. Take a look around. Oop. Good enough. Oh, how many chapters are in this damn place? How long Wait, are we gonna I be? Wait, I found something in the vomit. Or... Whatever this is. What did you well, find? Oh. I can't begin to guess how this journal ended up in here, but. This is Vathis' handwriting. He wrote about finding a relic cursed by Moloch Baal. Wait, wait, I know that place. We went there years ago, but I had no idea what he found. I could take us there with the Dark Rose whenever you give the word. Let's get out of here. There's nothing further to be learned. Are you sure? There's a book right here. Uh, well, I mean, we need to use the book to get out of here, frankly, but still. Glass Warax I'll take. Alright, and away we go. Excuse me. Oh, you're excused. Do you want to leave the book here? Uh, yeah, we'll leave the book. I tried to pick it up, didn't happen. Tried to pick it up, and that did not work. I'm going to take these potions. And I'm going to take the dagger. You don't mind, we're, we're sharing. Right? We share. Oh, um, oh, okay. Woo, I got scared because the trigger, the, uh, the marker for the door, I didn't see at first, and I got a little worried that we were now stuck in here. 